How to start a business Finding the right business ideas for 2022 can be difficult. With so many companies offering different types of services, choosing the wrong option can seem like an impossible task. Fortunately, we have tips on how to start a business that will help you narrow down your options. By starting a side hustle business, it is easy to make money while you are studying another passion. Before starting a new venture, take these steps to get the most out of your time, energy, and resources. Find a good side hustle While plenty of people see side hustles as a way to earn a little extra income, they aren't. Most people who start side hustling agree it is better to build their own foundation before trying something already established. This means deciding what type of business you want to start instead of just working at one place. Whether it's selling t-shirts or helping other small entrepreneurs build a successful business from scratch, building a brand and growing your own clientele can be much more manageable if you choose a side hustle instead of a regular job all day long. Choose your own name when starting out. You need to decide what you would like your business name to sound like, but also where, when, and how you intend to use the name. If you pick a common moniker, such as business admin, owner of IT business, etc., there is no risk of confusion, because everyone knows those names. You could even avoid using someone else's name altogether, as there isn't anything wrong with naming yourself, business admin. As always, make sure to check with local businesses to make sure any business name does not offend or upset anyone. Validate your product idea first off. Most buyers won't believe anything you say about your product. Do your best to understand, explain and convince them that you have the perfect solution. While this may seem intimidating at first, remember that business owners often do the same thing. They put themselves out there, make mistakes, learn over time and grow to know their customers well enough to offer a unique experience that resonates with prospective buyers. Take some time to think through every aspect of your business, including your marketing strategy, market research, and everything else your potential clients want to know. Figure out what makes your product different enough to stand out at your competition, then add that information you learned to the front of your sales pitch. Write your business plan you've decided to sell items, and now you need to write up a detailed business plan to bring that vision to life. When writing a business plan, you include the following sections. 1. A description of why customers should buy what you have, and what sets your product apart from others. 2. A list of customer references. 3. Customer testimonials and testimonials from competitors and previous clients. 4. A section listing key strengths. 5. An elaborate explanation of how your business structure translates into revenue. And 6. A section showing how you plan to launch your business. Make sure to double-check everything for accuracy, especially where you mention pricing, hours of operation, website design, marketing materials, and customer support. Then, keep a close eye on your business budget. If you don't know exactly how much money your startup will need to operate, get rid of a portion of your marketing budget and start to figure out how much you should set aside. It is important to note that since you can't give away your exact numbers at first, don't worry too much about your exact costs. The goal here is to get your business started while meeting your target business goals, which means figuring out how much money it will take to pay for equipment, rent, phone calls, shipping, advertising, etc. Research license and government regulations whether you want to register your business as a sole proprietor or partner, which is less risky for your bank account, consider researching licensing and government regulations. Some states, in particular, allow limited liability corporations, or LLCs, which allow corporations to be formed without worrying about liability, taxes or other issues and are much safer than having a traditional corporation, i.e. sole proprietorships. Some states only permit partnerships. These laws are mostly based on state laws, so it is usually easier to find the required paperwork online, rather than by visiting a brick and mortar store. If you intend to be a part of your company's legal process, you can hire licensed attorneys for free to assist you with your legal situation. However, with minimal experience, you may not understand how to find free legal advice, nor may the experts provide you with clear explanations of how each step in the legal process works. Selecting your tools before settling down with your chosen tool, it's worth spending a bit of time picking out exactly what you actually need to accomplish your mission and getting the best bang for your buck. Ask ourselves some questions before you look at tools. First, what do I actually want my company to be? Is this going to be a side gig, an afterthought, or an urgent project? Are you looking for the freedom to work whenever and wherever I want, or a steady income that lets both me and my family stay secure? Ultimately, decide what you really need, the least amount of work, and go to the place that offers the lowest price to meet those requirements. In case you're wondering how to begin making money after reading your shortlist, I hope this helps. Thank you.